an uphill battle, not just to keep fit, but to prepare for a very real one. Filip Avarenkov is an English teacher in Kyiv. He's decided to join the Ukrainian army. I have lost the meaning of my civil life. Civilian people die, like every day, and it's not a joke. Once a month, I wake up due, due to explosions of Russian missiles bombing Kyiv. And in this case, learning programming or becoming a developer or creating a family, it feels like you are li I'm lying to myself. Philippe wants to become a soldier and help defend his country. Instead of waiting for a draft notice that would assign him to a random military unit, Philippe is charting his own path. As part of a bid to boost recruitment, Ukrainians can choose their own military roles. He wants to serve in the Da Vinci Wolves. The prestigious unit only accepts volunteers. It's offering jobs in the infantry and for medics, but also in logistics and drone operations. After an initial five-day camp, applicants can sign a contract and get advanced training. At a time when Ukraine needs more soldiers, fewer people are willing to fight. Many do want to help the war effort, but not only on the front line. The government has turned to the market to help. Vladislav Reziv heads a major online recruitment agency that works with the Defense Ministry. They advertise thousands of jobs with hundreds of military units, provide information and help with the recruitment process. He has different forces, ground forces, Navy, Air Forces. They've received over 74,000 applications so far for positions ranging from drivers, mechanics, communication and IT specialists, engineers to assault soldiers, and even dog trainers. The whole process is voluntary. For society, for people, it's very important to control their future as much as possible. People want to trust their future commander. They want to know that it would be professional. But this flexible approach has not been enough to address the actual problem of boosting troop numbers at the front. Vladislav admits the biggest vacancies are in the infantry and medical corps. Back near the recruitment center, Philippe is happy with how his interview went. He hopes to sign up soon and spur on others to do the same. It's difficult to imagine how horrible war is unless you live in Ukraine. I want to encourage my friends with my own example that Ukrainian people have to join army, otherwise uh, we will lose our country. Philippe says being able to choose the unit he trusts was the reason he volunteered. A soft approach that helped him make a hard decision. This happened like...